Hello everyone, welcome back to Abda channel. In today's video, we will get to know the details about the AWS uh, services in brief. What are the different services that are provided by AWS? That we will see it in today's video. Okay, there is a IAM services, compute service, network, database, storage, and many more like analytics, IoT, machine learning. Uh, all those services are there available in AWS. So IAM service is an identity and access management which is part of uh, our domain tool which is security and compliance module. So uh, it is all about how securely, how to secure your uh, AWS resources that you are going to create in your subscription. So it is all about providing access privileges to AWS resources to create users within an organization and also mention who all, can, who all users can access what resources to organize users into groups. All those things you can do it in IAM module. Okay. So now let's move on to the compute. Okay. Compute, network, database, storage, all these things we will see what is the compute network, what all, uh, what all services that are part of the compute. Uh, service compute category okay there are more than 200 plus uh, services available uh, in aws and they are clustered into different group into these different groups okay so let's talk about compute group so services uh, that needs uh, some kind of computation from cpu right cpu provides uh, some kind of processing power of the computation right so whenever you need a service that needs some kind of processing from cpu or the computation from CPU, the, those services are grouped in the compute module. So what are those services uh, like Amazon EC2 when you need uh, some kind of virtual machines or when you want to lease some kind of virtual machines from AWS, you have to use the Amazon EC2 services. Okay, Elastic Beanstack is another service that is packed, that acts as a platform that contains an environment or libraries or runtime to deploy and run an application. Like for example, if you want to create a web app that uh, it will be having the dependencies that are required to run the web app, uh, like web server and all, right? So Elastic Beanstack is a platform as a service uh, which is coming under the compute module. Along with that, we have this uh, Lambda. Lambda is uh, like a serverless compute service. You just have to deploy the code and Lambda service will take care of running it in the highly available and scalable mode, mode of, as an application. Okay. Along with that, we have the Amazon ECS, which is a, a container, elastic container service. Amazon EKS, which is a fully managed Kubernetes service and many more other services are there. So all these services, right, which are, which needs some kind of computation to run uh, your application or uh, to run your module in the cloud, they are all coming under the compute module. Okay, now let's go to network module. Uh, network services, right, uh, it's all about uh, resource connectivity and security. When you have some kind of EC2 instances or database instances or any other resources for that matter in the cloud, right? You have to connect them in a network and protect them from illegal access. So network services provide features uh, such as Amazon VPC, which is a, a, a virtual private cloud. It is used to have full control over the virtual network, to place the resources in the network, to secure the resources, all those things we can do it in the Amazon VPC. Along with that, we have the Amazon Direct Connect and the Private Link. They are used to establish the direct connection or the private connection between the AWS services and the on-premise systems. Okay, we also have the Amazon API Gateway uh, to uh, to load balance your microservice requests to uh, to distribute the requests that are coming from the clients. To the different uh, Kubernetes pods, it acts as a load balancer, and more than that, uh, yeah, it acts as a load balancer. The Amazon API Gateway. Next, uh, Amazon CloudFront is also there, which acts as a content delivery network to for, to serve the content very fast by using the edge servers or the edge nodes. AWS WAF is also there uh, as a web application firewall 
and also route 53 is also there which acts as a domain name service so all these services comes into the network uh, uh, module next let's go to database so it all deals with the different kinds of databases like relational databases uh, in memory databases uh, no sql key value database document database graph database all these databases are there uh, and are provided by the uh, aws uh, if you are subscribed to aws cloud amazon rds amazon aurora these all are for the relational database services like oracle mysql everything okay in memory database it is all it will be providing the real, uh, databases for elastic cache and the uh, amazon memory db for redis cache interaction and many other many more other dbs are also there that are provided by the aws database module now let's look at the storage services so something you want to store in the cloud then you have to use the storage services like if you want to store some log files or if you want to store some data in the file format or if you want to do some kind of migration between the on-premise systems to cloud systems or if you want to do some kind of backups in the cloud uh, database or the cloud storage systems then you have to use these services like amazon s3 data sync snowflame snow family and the backup and not only these there are many other services are also available those are the storage services okay so these are the uh, different day services that are grouped into the modules like uh, network database storage and compute there are many other services available like uh, uh, iot services machine learning analytics services all those things are all there but these are the mainly user services which we are uh, which we need to know as part of this uh, certification cloud practitioner certification that's all for today thank you for watching we will meet in the next video please give it a like share and subscribe to my channel thank you